Hello, welcome to Bad Power Down Time. Me tries to beat end game content. Today we are um, actually not live. This is uh, <laughs> a video that I did a screen recording of way back on Saturday, actually, when um, the rankings first came out. Sorry, I was looking at a, a, a link. I was looking at a link of something, uh, so I'm gonna put it on Discord. Um, this is a uh, challenge level nine of December quests, which is Awoken's Goes Invalid, and I think this is probably the hardest one out of all of them. I think uh, this time's C8 was pretty easy, and I did do this one solo. Uh, not that it matters. Well, solo makes it easier to charge stuff up. So um, let's. It's a kind of a long video, so let's 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 see how quick we can go through it. And I will, I guess, marry. There's some parts, you know, where I'm pausing and trying to figure stuff out, so it might be a little cringy. And I guess we'll just post commentate it. So this first floor, uh, oh, by the way, I can explain the team as we're going. The team I'm using um, is Riku. Riku is one of the really good ones uh, for this dungeon. Uh, for Wilkins Guilds and Valid, just because he gets a pretty high multiplier of times 15 personal. He has really high recovery, which also lets him stall. Like, you can just stall with one heal combo, because you have times nine as uh, with the combination of the two. Um, and then he is, he is also a Rainbow Leader, so uh, it's pretty good. Um, well, the Rainbow Leader is inconsequential. That was just a fact, I guess. As for the rest of the team, I think the only really important thing to note here is Orochi. Um, a delay is ex uh, pretty pretty helpful for this dungeon um, because the last boss is Manticore and Manticore has um, oh also Riku has plus time movement plus time for this uh, with his, in his leader skill so you can still you know have time to match your combos so Manticore has a lot of health he is like somewhere in the 100 million range so the delay um, will really help you to um, what's it called give you enough time to wear him down because there are um, a good chunk of times when he doesn't have a status shield on so you can delay him. Um, I think ideally you want two delays is um, what people are saying. Uh, one for the beginning and one for the end uh, because there's like basically he starts off without a status shield and then you can delay him in the beginning and then once you get him under 20% he does like the turn change and anger thing. I think it's when he's under 20%. He does like a turn change and anger thing, and then um, the, your whatever delay you had before then will have um, un, undone itself. So, um, hold on, I don't want to lose this, this link, so I'm going to open it now. Uh, ooh, it's different. Is it different? No, it's the same. Never mind. Sorry. This is the link, it's a pad related thing. It's about the writing dungeon currently. Okay, it's not different. It's the same thing. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? Yes. And then you, uh, you'll see. You'll see when you get there. I actually do happen to have two delays on this team. Uh, funnily enough, I didn't realize that I had two delays on this team until I got to the end, but I remembered, or I realized that Ideal actually has a delay, so that's useful. And the rest of the subs, um, are just there for, um, Rainbow activation, uh, Sherry's Fruits and Ragnarok's Dragon, um, the ideal is, you know, would be a really good sub for Riku normally. She's she is still good. It's just she doesn't get triple seven combos, so that sucks. Also, you don't, you don't need a fall up attack because your wig attacks are invalid anyway. So I did bring a Matsu, which is, I normally would have brought on a Riku team for the HP. The beginning part of the dungeon is pretty boring. Um, I think with the double Rikus, each what well, gives plus two seconds, so I get plus nine seconds or so. I can't remember what badge I'm using. I'm not using the HP badge. I honestly can't remember. Um, it was probably in the beginning of this video, and I wasn't paying attention <laughs> when I was when I had the team, you know, there. Oh, oops, the music might have been too loud this entire time. Let me turn it down a little bit here. Hopefully, that's not quite as loud. It doesn't hurt your ears so much. Uh, I think I read I. I only had to do this dungeon once, so I don't know, but I think um, what people were saying also was this guy, you don't want to uh, stall on him because he can break your hearts. Um, so you want to kill this guy faster rather than slower. I mean, I see useless L there. Oh, I'm thinking about L, so I just did some ranking dungeon runs. Um, of the Courage ranking dungeon. This guy makes bombs, smash the bombs. Self-explanatory. Also, I think it's better. It's it's 
probably a little better to go into this dungeon solo rather than co-op. Number one, because co-op you don't get your skill boosts or anything. You don't get the benefit of a skill boost across both teams. But also, um, it makes it easier to charge up delays like Orochi, which have... I think he's like a freaking like 13, 14 turn delay. Somewhere around there. Like I think actually I think it's 15 turn delay because he has the haste part. Um, so the dungeon is on the long side. So that kind of helps too, but um, it, it is probably more beneficial overall, like I said, to run Ooh, But the matching there is terrible. <laughs> that was not good matching. <laughs> it's okay. Riku is forgiving, I guess. And it looks like we're getting... Ooh, what was that? I couldn't see. Let me see how much damage this team is getting without, sorry, without any awakenings. I'm curious. Let's see if I get actually my colors now. So about 1 million, for, uh, somewhere in the 1 million range without any awakening. That's pretty good, right? That's the power of times 15. So, I'm sure I kill this floor at some point. <laughs> Trying to get that brute force into the nice position. And it's dead. Great. Moving on... Oh, by the way, uh, in case you're wondering, um, I'm just like using this time to like make announcements and talk about other things. In case you're wondering, I think I'll probably be rolling a little bit in the Super God Fest. I'd like to save for PCGF though, now that I think about it. Um, just because we've had a lot of Super God Fest lately, so maybe a PCGF will be more fun and exciting, I don't know. Uh, but I'll probably roll a little bit. Um, I haven't actually taken a look at what the rates are. Ooh, that was so bad. That's okay. Apparently we didn't have recovered anyways. Uh, what was I saying? PC I might roll a little bit in the Super God Fist. I'm gonna assume that the rates are 30 33%, but I, would, I think I'm gonna be rolling on the second round. Um, cause the GFEs are better in that one. Like, I want a ball- I know Yogg's in the first one for me, but then Cotton and Baldin are in the second one. I think also- I think- don't quote me on this, but I think I saw, like, Bride. Um, Bride, uh, what's it called? Not Ishimali. Uh, Bride Rushana is in day two, or not day two, in round two. I think. I think that is something that I would like. Let me look it up right now. Actually, not like not like enough to roll in the Bride machine or trade for it, but a chance that that wouldn't be bad. I think she has a pretty good. She's a pretty good wood VDP, as I recall. Might be wrong about that. Let's see. Super God Fest. Pride Ishmael's in the first one. Um, let's see. We beach Yogg's in there, so I could get a beach Yogg even if I don't get a regular Yogg. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? So it's kind of sidetracked in that something. Oh, yeah, that'd be an interesting strategy. Huh. Sorry, I was thinking about something. Um, looks like what else is in there? Green Cali, which isn't good. The Orochi, I think, is pretty good. School Orochi, so that'd be cool to get too. Um, the cons are good. I want a bald in. Demon is in there, but I don't know if I need to. Anyways. Oh, we got to Manticore. Fun. So I think what I did is, I think I popped Orochi first or second turn. Don't fully remember. Either now or the turn after. Um, I think if I were to do it back, I probably... If, I have, if you have only one delay, you should save it towards the end. Because I think his... He does the turn switch thing when he gets to 20%, and uh, I think when he says 20%, that still means you have 20 million, 25, 20 to 25 million HP to go. So I think that's a good time to like delay him because that's 20 million HP is not something I think most teams without awakenings can deal with um, easily. Look at me getting that eighth combo. <laughs> Um, the spinner here makes it pretty annoying to get the 8th combo. If you want to combo with 7x6, you can. Uh, but I think the time extend from the double recoup is more helpful for me, personally. I think, as I recall, I don't actually... There's a lot of times when I don't get the 8 combos, so it ends up being a little on the stally side. Like, I don't think I could... I think I, think I got here. Let's see. I got 7, so I'm gonna heal it back. So, you know, it gets a little repetitive. 
slash. Although I guess it proves oh I didn't pop over in the beginning. Cool. I guess I popped him. Oh, I remember when I popped him. I remember what happens. You'll see. We'll keep it as a surprise. But as you can see, it's pretty easy to stall with Riku. As long as you get hearts, even the poison doesn't really matter. And the shield helps too, of course. We got eight there. This part is pretty boring. <laughs> Should I for fast forward? Let's fast forward a little bit to the next bit. I didn't fast forward very much. Skip, skip, skip. So yes, combo shield. Oh, I remember. Uh, I had I. I so at this point, he actually goes into his second set of mechanics because I do not get him below a certain threshold and his combo shield goes away. He does the leader switch, which is a little annoying. Um, if if I could have picked anyone, I would have preferred he picked Sherius. Ragnarok Dragon needs machine type. So in this case, uh, Ragnarok Dragon is the only one getting a really good buff from both Riku and himself, but nah, whatever. And also the time debuff. It's not like a debuff, but now I have less time because I don't have the Riku. And he puts up a void, a damage void. Not that we're gonna ever hit that anyways without awakenings. Let me fast forward actually, because I think I I end up just kind of stalling through the whole thing. Um, even with Ragnarok Dragon. I, 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 I stall through everything until we switch back from Ragnarok Dragon. Not very exciting, so let's continue on. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Moving on to... Uh... Oh, I delayed him. I delayed him at some point. I guess because his, his shield was going down, so I was like, oh, let's just delay him. So we switched back. Great. And I think as you will see, his... VDP, not his VDP, he's going to do the turn change in anger thing, because we're getting pretty close to 20%. I forgot about that Skyfall, not an epic kill. So this is when you panic a little bit, and then you want, this is why you want the second delay, too. Because he puts the scroll, and that's annoying. And you can't resist it, because there's no tape, there's no awakening, so you have no tape resist. And you, if you had you saved your first delay for this point, you could pop it now, and you didn't really need it for the first bit anyways. Or it's, yeah, you, it's not necessary strictly for the first bit. Thankfully, it looks like I didn't even need the delay here. I managed to kill him anyways. Through the scroll, and on the first turn. Cool, so that's um, challenge level 9. Good luck. I think it's probably the hardest one of this set. Although, not too hard. I didn't really have to do anything super special. Again, you just want to bring a delay. Riku is a great leader. He's farmable. Um, so a lot of you guys have him, I'm sure. Uh, if you don't have Riku, you can always pair. If you really want to, you can pair, I don't know, like, Light Ideal with Riku or something. And But Riku has the shield and the recovery, so it's pretty nice. Um... Although, I don't know, I guess it would be hard if some, for someone to have Ideal and not Riku. Possible, but one of the more unlikely scenarios compared to having Riku and no Ideal. Uh, anyways, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.